Let's create a flower pot in Blender. Stick around to know all the secrets about this that other people don't show. I put a lot of effort sorting all these steps to share with you. Firstly, delete the default cube and add a cylinder. Reduce its number of vertices to an even number. In edit mode, select the top edge loop and scale it up. Add a loop cut and move it towards the rim. Extrude and scale it up. Extrude this face downwards and scale it down. Then right click and shade smooth. To fix this shading issue, select all the edge loops and bevel them. Now select this face, delete it and replace by a grid fill. Separate by selection for better control. Then with proportional editing, select random vertices and move them upward. Then select both objects and join them. Let's rename this and hide it for now. Then add a reference image of a petal and reduce its opacity. Then add a plane and in edit mode, merge everything to a single vertex and move it towards the bottom of the petal. Now make multiple extrusions and move them to outline the shape of the petal. Don't worry, it doesn't take a lot of time. To connect the last two vertices, select both of them and merge with M. Now fill the shape with F and switch to UV editing. Press Z and select Material Preview. Then press U and select Project from View. Scale up the UV map to the correct size and then switch to the Shading tab. Now add a new material called Petal and an image node with the petal image and connect it to the base color. And this is the petal we shall use for the flowers. In edit mode, select everything and extrude downwards. Switch back to the layout tab and add a bevel modifier to define the edges. Select a vertex at the bottom of the petal and move the cursor to that position. Then set origin to 3D cursor. Now select some random vertices and with proportional editing, move them slightly upwards to give them a variation in shape. This is much better than a flat petal. Now rename it to petal, add a sphere, and reduce its number of vertices. Scale it down on the Z-axis and move the petal to a suitable position. Now duplicate and rotate the petal and press Shift-R to repeat. To make it more realistic, change the size of some petals. Then select all the petals and parent them to the sphere. Right-click and shape smooth. Now add a curve and scale it to the correct size. Under the Geometry tab of the curve, increase the depth. And rotate the sphere to the orientation of the curve. Unhide the pot and parent the sphere to the curve. Then scale it to the correct size. Add a material to the curve and give it a green color. Then add another material to the sphere and give it a yellow color. Back to the layout, parent the stem to the pot. Select everything and hide for now. Now make sure to enable this add-on from the preferences. Use it to import the image of a leaf as a plane. Move this edge to the bottom of the leaf. Set the cursor to that position and set the origin to the 3D cursor. For its pivot point, add some loop cuts and with proportional editing, move an edge upward. Now unhide everything and using the pivot point of the leaf, move it to the correct position on the stem. Duplicate the leaf and move it to another position. You can add as many leaves as you want. Select all the leaves and parent them to the stem. Rename all these correctly and then duplicate and move to a different position. Now select the pot and switch to UV editing. Select everything, press U, Smart UV Project. And then move to the Shading tab. Add a new material to the pot. Then add a noise node connected to a color ramp and to the base color. Press Ctrl T on this noise node to add the corresponding nodes and change the type to vector. Now give it a brown color and you can change the values of the scale to match your liking. Add a new material to it and select the same pot material, but make it a duplicate for the soil. Select this part with Ctrl Alt Click and then apply the soil material to it. Make the soil darker and increase its scale. To bake this, add a new image node to the pot and copy it also to the soil. Make sure those two image nodes are selected, then move to Cycle. Reduce the samples, then change Bake Type to Diffuse. Uncheck Direct and Indirect Influence, then Bake. Now you can replace all these nodes by this single image texture. Do the same on the other material. Also don't forget to save the baked images and that's it. Make sure to subscribe for more content and follow this next tutorial to export correctly to Unity with all the textures. See you next time.